Good morning. Hi, I'm Belinda and welcome to Christmas in July, day four. Today is the 4th of July here in the United States. I am in Texas. And if you're new, welcome aboard. If you're a returning viewer, thanks so much for coming back. Um, I can't see out my glasses, I'm sweating in them. I've already been out this morning. It's about just after 10 this morning. I've got my coffee brewing because I overslept from what I was planning on sleeping and just needed to run to the grocery store. And then of course I start talking to my old friends because it's the store I used to work at. But I've got groceries to put up. My brother and his partner are coming over for lunch and I'm going to be making some chicken salad and picking up some beef brisket. And I still need to make some macaroni salad as well as the chicken salad. It's going to be a fairly easy, low key, because it's just going to be the four of us. Zebra is working. And this evening, I am going to be making some brownies because a friend of mine that has asked me to uh, make brownies for the Children's Miracle Network fundraiser bake, um, bake sale she's having tomorrow. I usually do participate. I'm just not at her store anymore. <laughs> um, so I am going to make some pans of brownies tonight for that. And I'll show you um, later how I do that. It's just a super easy thing, but it makes it, they taste homemade and they sell like crazy uh, to, to the other associates. So I'm probably going to speed myself up, get this done much faster than it'll actually happen, get my coffee, start chopping onions and all that good stuff. So come along with me on my day. Like I said, I'm doing it easy, pre-made dips. Okay, so this is something new that I wanted to try. Sam was has been making his own chocolate whipped cream. Walmart actually has chocolate, strawberry, and regular whipped cream, so why not? I have vanilla ice cream for today. These are the goodies for making the brownies later. I have to use a box mix to start and add from there. more goodie for me to prep here. It's one of my friends. These are not store-bought eggs. These are actually fresh eggs. I still have to wash them from her little chickens. I'm going to be using those in the brownies. But leave them out for right now because they don't have to be refrigerated because they haven't been washed yet. They still have the bloom on them. I really love having some fresh eggs. All right, I'm going to heat up my breakfast sandwich. Then get my coffee. And I'm probably going to eat on the run while I make the chicken salad so it can be... Um, I like it to go in the refrigerator and be able to meld together for a while. Barbecue place doesn't open up till 11 for me to pick that up. And the guys aren't coming over until around two. So I'm going to have some time to sit and finish the baby blanket. All I have left is the edging and it will be done so I can get it washed 
and dried and um, packaged up to deliver it to the baby shower on Sunday. So we're going on a drive Sunday. <laughs> All right, I'll see you a little later. Okay, we'll see how the sound goes here because I'm just using the sound on the phone and not with the microphone. This is my favorite kitchen gadget probably, or at least one of them. It's called the Egg Pod. It's for microwaving eggs. And it does such a good job. <laughs> so I've put, put just a little bit of water in the bottom there. This size will do four eggs at once. There's different sizes. And this was one of my Christmas presents from Sam one year. And we have used it so much. Seal it in, clamp it. I'm going to put this in the microwave. Um, I usually do mine for seven and a half to eight minutes. Then when they're done, I just either let them sit or I rinse them and they peel real easy. I've got my canned chicken breast that I'm going to be using, some mayonnaise, and then grapes, onions. I have some walnuts and pecans. So Sam prefers his plain and so what I'm going to do is basically have the chicken salad fairly plain with just salt and pepper, canned chicken and eggs and mayonnaise, and then have the rest for anybody to be able to add in what they want in their chicken salad to jazz it up. Okay, so I am a simply homemade or semi-homemade <laughs> type of person. Sometimes I will make things from scratch, but most of the time um, I'm working on something that's just going to be a faster option for me. So for chicken salad, instead of um, cooking the chicken or getting a roastery or anything like that, I'm, I just, I like the canned chicken for this. So I've got eight eggs in here. So I'm just going to cut them up. I'm always curious about how other people cook their things. Sam likes his egg in big piece, fairly big pieces. I like mine in small pieces. You know, the <laughs> talking about the you know, spouses that are a bit opposite in a lot of things, that's us. What we had the most common in when we first met was the X Files. <laughs> and now he worries about me liking dark stuff. Oh well, I'm like, have you met me? <laughs> okay, I've already drained the cans. I've just chopped those up lightly. And this is a double batch from what I usually make. If it's just for us, I'll do one of these big cans and four eggs. And that's usually enough for us to have for dinner and for me to take to um, lunch a, couple, a day or two. I decided I am gonna go ahead and add the onions. It's just that one small onion. I love the red onions. Kind 
to shred this around a little bit. Onions are in big enough pieces that if anybody doesn't want them, they can always pull them out, but it'll add some great flavor in the meantime. And just regular mayonnaise. And I don't measure any of this. I eyeball it. I know I like it creamy. So that's it, just in a rough manner. Now let's get it all mixed in together. I prefer the chicken salad to be able to sit in the refrigerator for at least a few hours. I need to add some pepper. The chicken has quite a bit of sodium in it already, so and so does the mayonnaise, so I'm not adding any more salt. If anybody like wants more salt, they can add it themselves. <laughs> I don't salt a lot of stuff as far as very heavily because we've got people in our family that love tons of salt, some that don't um, want very little salt. So if any. So I don't add a lot of salt to anything I'm cooking because I know it's so easy to add that yourself. Okay. It's looking like I guessed pretty close. Need to get those onions to come apart a little bit. You're going to be biting into some big pieces of onion. <laughs> okay, got a taste test. So coming in to a couple of big chunks of chicken. So just double checking out. Oh, that was a good onion too. Okay. So that's all ready to go in the refrigerator. Should be plenty for the four of us and I'll have some leftovers too. And then I've got the grapes and the nuts to add in. Tomatoes, if they want tomatoes on their sandwich. I don't like raw tomatoes. That's why I'm so horrible at cutting them. I'm sure you noticed that earlier. I'm horrible at cutting them because it's not something I like. <laughs> all right, so now I need to go find where I'm gonna get the barbecue from. Sorry for the ring in the glasses. Um, and pick that up. And then I'm just going to rest for the rest of the afternoon until people start showing up. It's only the two of them, so. And it's family. House is a mess. It's not as bad as it usually is. But it's still a bit of a mess. But this is my everyday life. I'm a mess. I don't Anybody out there who's OCD and super cleaners and everything, please don't look in the corners. I'm trying to show you the least scary areas of my house. But I was that kid whose mother couldn't stand going into her room. I'm not that bad anymore, but 
there are days. There are definitely days. All right. See you in a bit. Hi, I hope you guys have been having a good 4th of July if you're celebrating it, and welcome back. I told you I would show you how I do my um, brownies. If you hear any noise in the background, the guys are watching TV, but it shouldn't mess with us at all here. Okay, so I just use a box mix. My favorite one is the Chewy Fudge Duncan Hines. It's usually less than $1.50. Uh, um, each used to be a dollar, and sometimes you can still find, them, not find it for that, but this is my go-to one. You basically follow the instructions on the back. It says to use two large eggs. We're going to be using three because these are so small, the ones that I got from my friend with her chicken. She has small chickens, and they have small eggs, so I'm going to use three. Uh, it also calls for three tablespoons of water and two-thirds of a cup of vegetable oil. Instead of the two-thirds of a cup of vegetable oil, I'm going to be using one stick of butter. And I usually use salted butter. It just it seems to um, bring the more of a chocolate taste out, which I have melted. That's what I have in here. It's just a melted, and I just, I do it for about 36 seconds in the microwave on high. It brings it to where it's not quite all the way melted, then stir it to finish melting because I don't want it to cook the eggs. Okay, the other thing that I am using because I'm doing the, these with nuts is I always add some semi-sweet chocolate chips and a nut of some kind, which I have some walnuts and I'm going to grab some pecans as well. Excuse me. I like using a mix, a mix of nuts. Okay, so I've also got my pans already prepared. Since three of these are going to be going um, to be, they will have lids on them and stuff. But I like using just an eight by eight pan, eight, eight inch by eight inch. And I have them prepared by just spraying some cooking spray in it. That way it does not stick. It's easier cleanup. I know there's already a lot of um, oh, grease in the pan or in the uh, mixture, but this seems to just help it come out easier. Okay, let's mix it up. I go ahead and mix the butter in a little bit and the water before adding the eggs just so that the temperature isn't too high to add the eggs in. I also need a cup for the eggs. Since these are farm fresh eggs and she does have roosters out there, I need to um, put it aside, or I need to actually break these up, which I don't always do when I'm doing regular cooking. And this is one reason why, excuse me. Okay, so that one was fertilized.
and three tablespoons of water. Might as well bring the water over here. Huh? Okay, so I'm going to mix all of this together just by hand. There's no reason for an actual mixer. And even though I'm making multiples, I, I always just mix it one at a time. And since I am going to be doing some with nuts and one without, I know that the one without is not due to anybody with nut allergies, but usually if I'm making these to give away or anything, I will do the non-nut ones first, just in case, if I don't know if it's going to be going to somebody with allergies. Okay. So here's where we are now. I guess I should close, show you a little closer. <laughs> and even in the ones without nuts, which this is the one without nuts, I'm still going, I do half a cup of chocolate chips. And these are just semi-sweet chocolate chips. If I'm making these for myself, I just pour a bunch in, however I feel at that time, that day. So if you want more, put more in. <laughs> and then it's ready to go in the pan. I just smooth it out a little bit. I don't want to miss out on any. Okay. So now it's ready to do the next. And I'm going to do the exact same thing, except I'm going to add in a half a cup of nuts, a mixture of pecans and walnuts. And once I have all four of these ready, then we'll put them in the oven. I actually have two ovens here. I have a smaller upper oven. Show you here. I have the smaller upper oven and then the a regular size lower oven. I do not have a drawer underneath. This was a special thing that I really wanted when we remodeled the house and I love it. Okay, so see you in a minute. Okay, I'm coming back with the nuts. And I'm doing about a quarter of a cup of pecans. And a half a cup of walnuts just because the walnuts are so big.
I could chop them up real small. But I don't usually. <laughs> okay. So it's a little, little more lumpy than the last one, but it's ready to go. Now you can, the recipe calls for using just oil. I prefer using butter. It, the oils always seem to have a bit of an aftertaste, especially after you've tried this with butter. And ever since I started doing this with butter, because I used to make everything from scratch, and I still do sometimes, but Seaver couldn't even tell the difference between my scratch ones and the box ones. <laughs> so I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to put these in the oven. And on the box, it tells you for an 8 by 8 inch, 42 to 47 minutes. So I'm going to put it in for 35 minutes before checking. Reason being is I like the uh, brownies to be a little bit gooey, not too gooey, but I want to take them out before they are fully done in the middle. Then they sit out and they finish cooking out. That way they're more fudgy and less dry. So these are going into the upper oven. I'll set my timer for 35 minutes and then I'll do the others. Okay, so that's a wrap. Really wish you had Smell-O-Vision because it smells very, very chocolatey here right now. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. I am going to leave you with some fireworks tonight and I hope you've had a great day. And I will see you tomorrow morning. Tomorrow's my last work day before vacation. So we'll go over a few things in the morning, but that may be all you see me tomorrow. Bill didn't really want to come on here today, and that's fine. He did give me some new information, though, that I will share with you in the morning over our cup of coffee. And by the way, this is the Vivian V-neck that I'm wearing with cumulus. Uh, yeah, cumulus yarn. I'll put the information down below. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. See you soon.